This video is brought to you by Boxu, but there will be more on that later, so stay tuned! Hello everyone! Oh man, I'm like very sniffly today. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I feel like an absolute genius. I've been thinking about this idea for like um, two days, I think. When I was on that field trip in the last vlog or the a vlog before this, I was thinking about it and I was like, what do I want to do for this project? And I was like trying to come up with an idea while I was on the field trip because I was trying to think ahead for like my assignment. And our assignment is to make a one inch book, which I'm breaking the rules a little bit. Mine's gonna be a little bit bigger than an inch, sorry. But the actual book portion part will be one inch, which is why I'm like, I think it'll be okay. My idea is based off the bodies exhibit, which I don't know if you guys have seen, but this is kind of like a, a weird concept. But I wanted to do it because part of what I'm interested in is like scientific and medical illustration. And I haven't done anything related to that because like from my past books that I've made in the class, I have like the flower, flower cat ones. I almost said flower mouse, sure. I have like this ghost one, which doesn't really have to do with anything. And then this bunny bedtime story, which I want to sell on Etsy. So I want to try to like get these manufactured somehow. But other than that, I haven't really done anything too scientific. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make something cute, but scientific today. And I wanted to do a little human who opens up at like the waist and the head and like a little accordion book comes out and it shows like the slices of the brain and like the middle of the body, like the bodies exhibit, which if you guys have seen is this exhibit. I don't know if it's outside of Atlanta, but I'm from Atlanta. So like I've seen it in downtown all the time. It's basically like this exhibit of cadavers they have like slices of people and so you can see like what's inside a person it's really interesting but i want to make something like that so that's what we are doing today so earlier yesterday i skated down to blick because there's a new bike path and i'm so happy about it so i will be going to blick all the time now because if you guys know materials are one of the things i struggle with a lot because at RISD there's just like a lack of material sometimes so i went and picked up some sculpey yesterday i had a really nice time it was a really good day yesterday so very pleased about that and yeah so now i'm going to to start sculpting my little guy because I'm really excited. And today I don't have class. Today is a Wednesday and I don't have class because of my field trip. So if you guys want to see my field trip, everything was vlogged here and you guys can go check that out. I'm going to just go ahead and start sculpting a little guy. I think I have a pretty good grasp of how this is going to go. So I feel like I can figure it out. This is like one of those projects where I feel like I can fully see how it's going to work and what is going to happen, which is why I'm very excited about doing it because I feel like I have a pretty good plan about how I'm gonna do everything. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sculpt everything now and hopefully my little guy comes out well. So here's a little package of clay that I got from Blick. Very exciting. Wow. So I got these little creamy like peach colored clays because i am still going to paint it but i figured if i get something closer to the color that i'm working with it'll work better because what i found a lot of times is when i paint stuff it might chip just a little bit and if the bottom like base color is more similar then it's way easier to work with but i'm doing some pretty basic stuff right now i am just forming the body this is really similar to another project that i've done before if you guys want to see it i did it like my freshman year i don't know what it is about me senior year revisiting my freshman year projects but i did it for my dollhouse project too which will come out next week. I'm forming the little arms. I'm doing this little like thing on this side, trying to taper it out so I can blend it in better. And this was just a big work in progress. I think that's the thing about clay. Sometimes you just have to get started and just work on it a lot. So I spent some time kind of blending everything. And then I kind of realized that something about the proportions weren't right. So I cut off the arms, sorry, goodbye arms. And I'm going to make the torso longer because I felt like it looked too much like a child, which you guys know I love making things for children, but this seemed a bit morbid to make out of like a child. So I wanted it to have a bit more adult proportions, even though it's like a super cute little character thing. And so I redid the thing I did with the arms where I tapered them out and try to connect them and went much better this time because I think the proportions are working better, but I'm still working through it because some things still don't seem right. So I end up elongating the legs as well and just spending a lot of time on it. You got to put a lot of love and care into making little sculpey things when they don't seem right so i try to add a neck here which i end up kind of using i don't know and then i add the head and it all just looks so weird when you start but you really just have to like take some time and try to blend everything in and just squish it around so this is what i have so far to everyone who asks how i keep dust out of my clay clearly i just don't i'm gonna sand this after i finish baking it it'll all come off so it's like fine he looks so wonky so i'm still trying to like figure him out but I think his legs might be too short. I don't know. 
so this is what i'm finished with i think this is good i'm going to cut open his body and his head up there and i'm going to put in some magnets and so i will be back once i finish that and bake this guy do a little dance right now while he's still squishy <laughs> so i made my guy he's a very dusty man but i was actually thinking because what i want to do okay this is a very complicated thing i want to cut him in half and then hollow out the inside a little bit make like a rim so that the book has somewhere to go because i'm going to put these magnets that i bought from amazon i had these freshman year but i didn't like I don't know. I ran out of them, I guess. So I'm going to put that in half of him, bake it so it's not going to change shape and then make the top and the lid accordingly to the new form shape. So I don't have to try to form two things at once. And I think that's a good idea. So I'm gonna start with the, do I start with the head or do I start with the body? I think starting with the head might be a little bit easier. I'm gonna hollow him out. So I'm just gonna decapitate him real quick. <laughs> Sorry, guy. I'm so sorry. Alrighty, time to decapitate him. I don't really have like a really good knife, but I guess I'll use this X-Acto knife. I think I want it. We'll give ourselves a little bit more space. So we'll do it here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Why is the inside of your head like that? Um, okay, whatever. Got an X-Acto knife. We're just gonna carve out the inside of his head. It's not very neat, but that's okay. And then try to like scoop out some of it. This is really hard because I'm trying not to change the shape of the outside too much. Scoop out a little bit more. I'm really changing the outside, but I'll just reform it, I guess. Everything will be okay. I think that's good. So now I have to smooth this out. It's going to take quite a bit of work. I think I have to use something like this. Yes, I'm just gonna squish it around and try to smooth it. This is very much a strange thing I'm doing. I think it'll come out cute. Definitely one of my more weirder projects. I think it's still on brand for me. It's been a while since I've made something super strange. This is just like a mini bodies exhibit, you know? That's what I'm making for those who haven't been before. I have to make the inside really smooth because you guys know how I usually rely on sanding. Well, I'm fully aware that I won't be able to sand this like at all because it's literally on the inside, but it's coming out pretty smooth. Can you see? Like, I think it's because of the end of this, it's coming out really smooth. I wonder if there's something better. This one's really round, so. I'm trying to make this very perfect since this project is literally so small that like, you know, I might as well like take my time with it. Okay, the problem I am coming across right now is that the inside of the rim is not very even, so I have to fix that. Yes, I think my plan of doing half and then baking it and then doing the other half was definitely the move because this is unfortunately warping it so much and there's nothing I can really do to like not warp it. Uh, I just kind of have to let it happen, you know, but that's okay. This is just taking a long, long time, you know? It's hard making things. <laughs> I'm here now. I think I'm making progress. And it's only been three minutes. So you just gotta like, you just gotta work with it. <laughs> this is really funny. I like stick him like this on the table so that I can flatten the rim of his head. Okay, this has been bizarre. So <laughs> I did it. I think it looks pretty like not bad. Could use a little bit more smoothing, I guess. But overall, this is like how I want it to look. It's just one of those things where you finally notice all the like imperfections and you like have to fix it. But anyway, this is what this looks like. This is crooked. It looks so crooked on the screen. In the process of making this, the original head like top really doesn't fit anymore and it's already so thin, so I didn't want to stretch it. So I just made a new one and this was actually so much easier to make and it fits pretty well. Like I said, I'm going to make it fit better after I bake the bottom part. So I'm going to bake this part first and then I will match this to the top. But do 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 time to cut the body in half, which is scary because it's also smaller um so it's good i did the head first i guess so i can have like practice but here are the iterations this was the original top of the head and it's like bad and i have this little one that i made that i was like oh my god this is so easy and then i made a bigger one and that was really easy too so time to time to cut him i'm sorry friend it's gonna be so much more sad when he has a face also i need to put the magnets in it still let's cut him in half Cutting him in half is so sad, especially because I worked so hard on it, but this had to be done. So I did my best smoothing and cutting out the middle, and this was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so here's what I have. He's all cut up, and these pieces are just... 
I'm gonna bake this first, do some final smoothing and bake it, and then we will fit these guys. And of course I'm, oh my God, I'm dropping things. Of course I'm going to put in my magnets. I'm gonna do that real quick before I bake anything. My little guy's in the oven, so I just ran downstairs to get lunch. I need to eat. <laughs> That's the lunch for today. It's like a little sandwich guy. Okay, so update. Uh, the little guy burned. I don't know why this always happens to me. I literally read the instructions. It's not about the instructions. It's just something with like the ovens here. The heat is really intense, but I'm going to try to match the heads up now. And then we're gonna put these in the oven as well. So this head is actually not big enough, which is interesting. But I just have to match up the joints. Oh my God. <laughs> so that i can bake everything i'm just gonna start like smushing it onto this guy so that i can try to match them up as seamlessly as possible his head is just not round so i feel like i have to make his head round so i may have to make a newer top of his head this is complicated some complicated work you know <laughs> i may just have to add more clay to the top of his head just fine too but you know that looks a little bit rounder i think if i shave off like some of the edges which is what i'm planning to do anyway it'll be pretty round or maybe i'll just do one final bake after this and like round everything out i think that might be the move kind of like what i did with the bunny house the long long process kind of kind of kind of kind of yeah the legs actually fit like pretty well which is good news so yeah i'm gonna get these all figured out and stick the magnets in and bake them and i will be back once that is done okay so everything's in the oven now so i'm giving it it's time to bake and do all of its um lovely things that it needs to do so now i'm getting very snackish because i am hungry and you know i've been working straight for a long time my hair is looking like that because i was just outside in the wind going to the mail room to retrieve my boxes i'm so excited Excited today for our sponsor for today's video. So thank you so much Boxu for sending me one of their packages. If you guys don't know what Boxu is, they're like a subscription for Japanese snacks and just Asian snacks in general. And you guys know, sorry to be holding a knife, um, but you guys know how much I love my Asian snacks. Oh my God. And I am just so excited. They sent me this package. I've seen so many YouTubers like do reviews and unboxings of Boxu. And when I was a kid, this is what I literally dreamed of. I always wanted to do one of these. So I am so excited today to be opening. <gasps> It's so pretty, oh my God. Okay, so I wanna share with you guys what I will be snacking on today and we're going to start from the top. So thank you, Boxu sent me a little a note, so cute. So please visit www.boxu.com forward slash market and you can see all their cool stuff there. But they sent me this one. I'm really impressed with how they have like this box that fits these perfectly. It was kind of hard to get it out, but I am so excited. So premium Japanese snacks, as you can see, and when I'm working on like my homework and stuff, I start eating like everything in my kitchen. I love snacks and I snack a lot. I'm actually more of a snack person than I am an actual meal person. So I am so excited to be receiving this. Okay, so another note on this, thank you. Since my early days of living in Japan, I've loved discovering delicious snacks from local Japanese snack makers, which is why I'm thrilled to present you this first box curated across the culturally rich regions and seasons of Japan. I haven't been to Japan since 2015, I was gonna go again semi recently, but then the pandemic happened, so I wasn't able to. And I haven't been able to go back to Shanghai either, which is where I get a lot of like tasty snacks. So I'm really excited to be getting this because also the area I live in at home doesn't have the most Asian snacks. So I kind of just to like wait it out and it kind of sucks, but. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, so this is a, a culture guide. So I'm gonna assume, yes, it has like a guide of the boxu, what's in it. Oh my gosh, so many different snacks. So let's just, I'm gonna, it's so pretty. Look at it. Oh my god. I can't, I can't. Oh, I'm so excited. As you can see, there are like so many, they really packed it full. Of like, oh, this is that bear. I love this bear. Oh my god. So for this one, which is Seasons of Japan, this boxu has, it looks like savory snacks. 
I'm not entirely sure, so let's just go through like what they have in here. They have these cracker looking guys. White strawberry. I don't know what this is. They're so cute. And there's two of them. I'm trying to feel them. It feels like low-key a whole like strawberry. I'm very confused with what's in there, but I'm very intrigued. So I take it back. I guess it's not savory things. You know what? I should read the guide and see what it says. I think that would provide me some insight, you know? Fox who sees Japan. Festivals throughout the year celebrate the beauty of each season, its beginning and its end. And a spring, summer, autumn, and winter. So I think it might just be going through the seasons. Yes. Are you kidding me? This is what's in the strawberry guy? Stop. That looks so tasty. Oh my god. So they have a breakdown of every single snack in here, which is very helpful because I can't read Japanese. Um, and I'm sure many people who ordered this box cannot read Japanese. So these are very light. I'm not sure what these are. Two of these pear fromage biscuits. They look so good. Yuzu sake candy. That sounds so good. Oh my god. So they have like a good amount of everything in here. We have some green tea and these cute little bags. I'm not sure what these are. These look savory, like little chip guys. And then we have our cute little bear man. I love you. Mwah. So cute. And this looks like those sesame cookie things that I'm very excited about because I love that. And then we have these. Everything looks so good. These little, I love these guys. I really appreciate when they send two packs of the things that are maybe littler so you get to like keep them or like savor them a bit. These look like they may be something edamame related because there's little beans on them. <gasps> They're so cute. Look at them. I love them. Oh my gosh, squishy, squishy. So these are probably little dango mochi guys. I assume there's two of them. That makes me so happy. This looks really good. Oh my God. Oh, and it's, it's like squishy. I thought it was gonna be a biscotti, but this is like a cake. It looks like a matcha biscotti cake. A lot of them have like pictures of what it is. So it's, you can kind of tell what they are. I have potato chips similar to this where they come in little strings. These look like they are ponzol flavored. I don't, I don't know what this fruit or whatever it is is called in English, but like dates or something like that. I'm gonna have to try the strawberry one, of course, because it looks so, so good. And then I think I'll try some of the mochi guys as well because these guys are just so cute and pretty and I love them. I'm just so impressed with like how much stuff comes in here. Like they do some Tetris to fit this stuff in here because I can't even get it back the way that it was. And so I have decided I have to try her because it looks so pretty. I wanna try one of these Hokkaido guys because apparently it's the same as this and I'm very excited about it. And lastly, I want to try these little mochi dango guys because they're just so cute, you know? So so this is white strawberry made by Boxu. So this is made by Boxu. This isn't like a another company. This is the world's first chocolate infused strawberry. Strawberries are harvested, freeze dried, infused with white chocolate and cooled for chocolate with all the flavor of the fresh strawberry. What do you mean? That sounds amazing. Also for each of these, it has the flavor, common allergies, if it's vegetarian or not, and also contains something else. So if it also contains alcohol, it looks like they will say, which apparently this also contains alcohol, which is okay, because I'm 21 now. So that's very helpful. So if you have like family who wants to try this or, you know, just people with different tastes, you can really find out what's in it before, which is really helpful because they don't even have that for normal snacks at the grocery store. And the, the packaging is just so cute. Like, can we talk about that? Oh, it's just a, it's just a strawberry. Oh, kind of feels like the texture of chocolate though. So let's try it. Oh, one, it's so good. But two, what? It literally tastes like strawberry chocolate, which I don't normally like by the way, but this strawberry is like real strawberry, not like artificial strawberry. But the whole strawberry is the texture of chocolate, which is not what I was expecting. Can I buy like a box of these? This is a Boxu exclusive apparently, but <laughs> I want more of them. They're so good. Maybe I'm just becoming a food channel now. I don't know. That was literally, I've tried a lot of dessert things in the world and snacks, okay? I have never had anything like that. That is so odd, but it's so good. Oh my God. I want to save the other one for like my family because they're not going to believe like, this is so strange. Oh my God. So secondly, we're gonna try the Hokkaido Yubari Melon, which is very exciting. So apparently this contains alcohol, which I am actually not the biggest fan of alcohol, but I trust them. Oh, 
So it looks pretty similar. This is made by the same company. Yes. Amazing that like I happen to have this right now. That's so funny. I taste the pear. I don't taste the alcohol, which is good. I don't think you like want to taste the alcohol, but this is very similar to that cookie that I was talking about. Obviously, because they're made from the same company, but this cracker is more like stiff. Lastly, I'm going to try one of these little mochi guys just because they are so cute and they have little faces. And this one reminds me of Plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie, but let's open him up. Some of the sugar like got on my face. Let's try the green guy. So this is Mochan Dango Mochi. It's a variety of sticky rice dumplings. And this is commonly enjoyed during the spring. I think all the snacks I chose were from the spring section. So I guess I really like spring snacks in Japan, which is interesting. I should go to Japan in the spring then. And it's usually enjoyed during the spring hanami or flower viewing season. We're gonna try a little green guy. I think normally you eat these with like toothpick, which I actually have, so. This is good. Have you guys had mochi before? It's basically that. There's no filling, but it's just so. And so I will be enjoying these throughout the rest of my night while I make this little guy. I'm still working on him. He's got some, he's getting there. As you can see, I've decided I'm going to paint him all the way through when I'm done. But what I'm trying to figure out right now is just his head because his head does not look round. I want it to look round. So I'm gonna get back to work on that guy. But thank you so much Boxu for this amazing, like these two amazing boxes. This was so much fun and I really enjoyed it. So if you guys wanna get your own Boxu, which I highly recommend because this is like so fun and exciting and way better than going to your local Asian grocery store and like finding stuff. Cause like if you're anything like me, you've probably tried everything by now. Uh, so I would definitely recommend you can use my code which is just tiffany which is so easy to remember if you guys want to check out boxu i highly 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 recommend you guys check them out because it has been amazing working with them and i really appreciate them fun to do so i think this would be really fun for like you know the holiday seasons or like if you have a big family i think this would be really fun too to like try different things together as a fam i kind of wish i was with my family so i could like share some of these snacks with them because i think my parents would really like some of them this will make a really good Christmas present guys. So thank you guys so much to Boxu. I really, really appreciate it. Like I said, my code is just Tiffany. If you guys want to try it out, go to their website. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. And let's get back to working. So I just got him out of the oven. I kind of joined these a little bit so that I can sand them and they'll look more connected. And then I will like obviously disjoin them. But this is what the, he looks like before I sand him. Really rough, a lot of dust looking not the best. And now I'm going to go wet sand him and hopefully he looks better. Does anyone know anything about this in the comments? Cause I swear this was happening. After I baked magnets, they were not sticking as well together. So I would take them out and put in new ones and they stick like perfectly fine. I don't know what that means. Is that like a science thing? I don't know. Yeah, I was worried that things weren't gonna stick together for a while, but now they stick perfectly fine. So I'm going to work on finishing this body piece and then I'm gonna make the book portion. So I'm gonna paint him and do everything I need to do. And I'm gonna glaze him and then, yeah. Alrighty, so here are the pieces so far. I was painting the inside, it's so messy, but I realized like it doesn't really matter what the inside looks like because it's gonna be covered with paper anyway, but I painted his little face, his little small name, little nipples. Hopefully that doesn't cause this video to be demonetized, lol. Yep, everything's looking good, so we're just letting it dry and then I'm going to be putting the paper part in. Hello everyone, it is a couple days later. So working on the same project, I got another week to work on it. So earlier today, I let him sit out in the sun because I glazed him with UV resin, which means he needs a lot of UV light. So he did some sun tanning. This is what the last little man came out and he looks really cute, you know, like I really like him, but there's some imperfections about him and the magnets are not the strongest. Like this one holds, but if I let go of his legs and I like, they just completely come off. Or some people liked how like fragile he is, but I don't wanna do that. So I'm trying to make two more. So my plans are I'm making one exactly like this, and then I'm going to make one split in the middle like horizontally, and I wanna give him a little rib cage because I think that would be really cute. I am working on it. Um, let me show you the pieces that I have because they're in the other room. So here are these guys. This is gonna be a head, and I think it matches up pretty well with this one. And then this is gonna be the body compartment, and I'm still trying to figure out the magnet situation because it's kind of messed up but right now i need to head to blick again because i didn't think i was going to make more of these guys so i only bought two of these clays but now i realize i need more so i'm like i have to go to blick so because there's a new bike path i don't really mind going all the time so i'm just going to skate over there really quick after i eat so yep that's that's the plans 
I got my eggs with cheese and ham, preparing for my very long trek, long and dangerous trek to Blake, just kidding. It's like 10 minutes away by skateboard. Yeah, I'm very excited because I'm hungry. Woo! Um, getting dressed to skate really quick down there. I'm putting on my shoes. It's only like one o'clock right now, so it's pretty bright and nice outside. There was a tornado warning yesterday and I was stuck at the gym for like hours. <laughs> Not hours, like an hour and a half. I usually go to the gym for like anywhere from 30 minutes to maybe like an hour, but I don't usually go over an hour, but I got a really good workout in yesterday. But the soreness has yet to set in. I've realized sometimes when I work out, I don't get sore like within 24 hours, I get sore within 48 hours. Hours. So I guess it'll come tomorrow, which is good because I need to skate right now. So I can't really be sore, but <laughs> we're gonna go and get clay. And I don't think I need anything else from Blake. So let's have a video processing over there. We're putting out a lot of content this fall, winter. So yeah. Also flannels keep you so warm. So my new favorite staple of the winter. Goods acquired, time to go back. Also, it's kind of cloudy today. So sad. Alrighty, now I'm back. It is time to get to work. Woo! Alrighty, I'm gonna get to work and try to do as much as I can because I really want to get back to playing Animal Crossing, but I bought like four of them. So I feel like this will be good. Hopefully it will be, but I made this head. Like, I think I'm just gonna remake it because honestly, I don't, I'm still not pleased. And they're so small. It's like, I kind of want to make them perfect. So I might as well try a little bit harder. And hopefully these can go in my portfolio too. Thoughts in my head right now. I swear sometimes the things I have to think about when I make art makes me feel like I'm literally insane. But you know what I'm doing right now? I just found out that the heat does actually mess up magnets and breaks them so i'm going to start baking my things without magnets in them but to make the holes i'm gonna glue a bunch of the broken magnets together to make a little log that's the perfect size of all the magnets and this is not what normal people spend their time doing but here i am super gluing tiny little magnets together to make a little column and this is what I'm doing on the weekend. This is my life now. And somehow I enjoy it. Oh man. Oh man, the door's open. Okay, I'm working on a lot of things. I've started to realize I should make a center or like a core for these. But also I'm gonna have another snack from Boxu and I wanted to like eat it with you guys because I'm really excited about this one. It looks like it's apple or something. And I'm just like, you know, I be snacking when I'm working. So, oh, it's like a soft, soft cookie. It just looks so pretty. It's so good. Oh my God. It's like apple flavored. This is just what I needed. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to work. Thank you, Boxu, for fueling me. I made the core. I'm going to tr this method now and hopefully this works. We, we will see. <laughs> Try my best out here to find ways to make things the way I want them to be. Okay, so I'm working right now and I just had one of these yuzu sake candies and they're literally so good. They're so good. Oh my God. Updates, making the head, making the body. I didn't put the magnets in, so I'm gonna do that last. And I think things are coming together. I'm just doing like the final sanding for some of them, but I've been mainly using my first guy as reference and hopefully he comes out well. Like I don't really know how it's gonna come out until I get all the magnets in. So we're gonna see. Here they are, the pieces. There's a last one. As you can see, like the connections are not the best. So I'm gonna try, I'm trying to make them better this time. Um, This will probably be my final one though. I don't really feel like making another prototype. I'm gonna finish sand because as you can see, there's still some like imperfections in the sanding and then I'm gonna paint him. Yep, that's all there is for tonight. So I will see you guys tomorrow when we do some more work. Hello everyone, good morning. So today I'm very excited because I am going to be finishing these babies which have been taking way too long. The past like two projects that I did have taken longer than they should and so they've overstayed their welcome on my desk so I am ready to be done with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get these babies like sanded and painted. I think I'm gonna do a few more like touches on them and then we're going to finish it today and I am, I am done. I am ready to be done. Alrighty, so I am going to be resining them now. I've been working on these two guys and they are pretty much done. They're very 
well stuck together. I need to do a little bit more sanding on the two of them, but I'm gonna paint them today and UV resin them and then they are gonna be done. And I'm so excited because this has been going on for way too long, similar to this project also been taking me way too long this video is about these guys so i'm excited to be finishing them as you can see because his head isn't perfectly circular i'm actually going to mix some epoxy clay right now to try to fix him up and just patch up any wear on here that needs it as well because i really want these to be perfect so that's what we're gonna do okay so here's what i have so far i did some work as you can see they have some repairs for their injuries but i think this is like so much better than before i was really debating on whether or not i want to use epoxy and i don't know why but this was a good decision so i've sanded it down so i'm going to start painting it soon and i'm just so excited to have these guys done as you can see here's the last one he like falls apart a bunch and i just think it's gonna look so much better once i make them out of these guys because these guys are molded like so perfectly so i'm very excited like do you hear that snap it's so satisfying oh my god so nice so yeah i'm very excited to give him two two new friends and i'll still keep him but i don't know yeah they're just so much nicer so now i'm getting ready to paint them they have little brains inside of them so i have to make sure to take those out and then i can start painting them so i did a base coat and this was actually harder than the original painting process for the prototype because i didn't realize how much i absolutely love the colors on the prototype so i wanted to completely replicate them which color matching with acrylic is really really difficult but i ended up getting it and i think it turned out pretty good so this took a lot of coats to get the right color but now i'm doing the inside and this pink is just like so satisfying I literally love it, but I started running out of paint because I just always don't mix the enough amount for paint. Does that make sense? My brain is fogged right now because I've been thinking about this project for so long, but I'm also painting the little brains, speaking of brains. And I made two of them because, like I said, the first one was actually too big for his little, little head cavity, so I had to make another one. And then I cut out these pieces of paper because I needed to stick them together to get the right proportions for painting the outside features, like the little face. And this is something I learned from the prototype is that one, these stick together really hard because it's acrylic paint. And two, I have to put them together to do the facial features or the proportions are gonna be off. So I had to stick everything together. And so luckily, you know, making a prototype does actually help in the long run and actually teaches you a thing or two. And I did the cheeks, you know, I did the wrong color at first, but I fixed it immediately afterwards. And so I have little pink patches on the cheeks, the elbows and the knees. And this is something I used to do like in high school when I used to draw figures, like anatomical figures. Uh, so that's why I transferred it onto here. Also, cause it's cute, duh, but I just did the cheeks, I did the knees and the elbows, and I made sure they were perfect circles, and I spent a lot more time on this than I did the prototype because I wanted them to be perfect. And I did the back of their elbows, there we go. And then I add the two little lines on all of the little red patches, and this is just kind of like those blush marks, I guess, but I just went through and did that, and that was like really easy. And then I add their nipples, which of course is very, very important, and everyone in my class really enjoyed that they had nipples, which I thought was funny. Okay, so here they are. I just painted their nipples, haha. <laughs> but I'm going to separate these pieces now and let them dry. Okay, thank God for the pieces of paper I put in between them because even with that, it was kind of difficult separating all of them, but here they all are in their little pieces. Let them dry for a bit and then we're going to UV resin them. And oh my God, they all look so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna be resining them now and I'm so scared to like stick them together so I won't do it, but they really, I feel the pull, but I have all the pieces done. And so we have five pieces in total that we're gonna be resining today. One, two, three. Oh, we also have like our tiny little brain. We have the legs, many pieces. I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff ready. I've been really focused on resin safety uh, lately and I should be in general, but I read up like a good amount on it and I'd love any more like other feedback, but you guys know I had a respirator for my other class where I had to do like ceramic stuff and that had like a particle filter. So I got another filter for organic vapors for my resin because because it was starting to give me headaches and I already don't use resin very often so I didn't want that to be a problem. Also, look at these two brains. One of them I made was too big to fit in his little tiny head so I had to make another one. So I have a filter now and then I do resin outside of my room so I'm not like breathing this stuff in all the time which means I have to pack up basically everything I use. So I have my UV light here. I'm going to pack it up and we're just gonna go ahead and get ready to go to a workroom to resin these guys. 
So I have my uh, respirator, I have my light, I have an hour to do this before my class, so I feel like I can resin five pieces in an hour. Like, I feel like that's doable, you know? Got my tray for resin stuff, and I just need to put a sheet of aluminum foil over it just to make like a clean surface. I should actually use wax paper, but I don't currently have any of that. We're gonna just put all of our little babies on there. Hello everyone, are you ready to be resined and shiny so I can finally touch you without fear hooray and then two brains i made other organs but they're not quite ready yet but i'm like over this project so we are resonating everything today but let's see what else do i need like not much stuff i think um i think we're good to go yeah so i'm gonna grab it and we're gonna we're gonna dip because i'm i'm ready i'm so ready to be done with this project this literally has overstayed its welcome here they are one last time before they're gonna become glossy but as you can see they're really smooth because of all the sanding that i did so definitely paid off so i've been trying to practice extreme resin safety so i have a ventilator i'm going in the workroom that is not my personal bedroom so i don't have to inhale this after i finish and I take the uv resin out and i glaze everything and this is actually a better process than if i were to do it in my room because my room has windows and uv light goes through the windows so this actually allows me to do it in a total isolated room where uv light doesn't affect what i'm doing which is helpful but i'm just doing two coats i used to do one coat now i do two and it makes everything just super glossy and shiny and honestly, some projects I do three, but this is like really simple. I get my UV resin from Amazon, by the way, for anyone wondering. But yep, just sticking them in there. And there they all are. Just, you know, doing their thing. But yeah, everything looks really good and put together. So I'm really, really excited to be finishing this project soon. My face. Oh my god. I didn't think it was on that tight. No. Okay, so now I'm going to go sit in the sun with them and hopefully wherever the Starbucks is, is where sun's gonna be because I want to eat Starbucks, but I might as well like kill two birds with one stone. So I will have the guys sitting in the sun while I eat. So I need to find like a little container or tray to put them in. I also have to dress for the weather because it's cold outside today. So we're gonna go stick them in the sun real quick. I just transferred them from this gross tray to here so that it's just easier to carry and stuff. And we're just gonna take them outside now. We're sitting on the ground with my guys. Um, I got a ham and cheese Swiss croissant. I'll be eating that. I'm just sitting out here waiting for these guys. I'll probably go back in whenever I finish eating, um, which will probably be in like 20 minutes. Also, it's probably mocha season again, which is my favorite drink of all time. So yeah, I'm just chilling out here and we'll go back in when these guys are done. These are literally so good. Like way better than the sandwiches I used to eat all the time. Okay, little update. They're doing well. The sun is moving so quickly. It's only one o'clock. The sun is like threatening to set already. It is so annoying, but they were gonna go back in now. Okay, it was so cold outside. My hands are like freezing from just walking. Literally, I was only outside for a few minutes. My hands were only out when I was holding the tray coming in and out and they're like frozen right now, but my peppermint mocha saved my life because honestly, if I didn't have this outside, I probably would have froze to death. It's 30 degrees today. Fahrenheit, which is below freezing. It's only November. Can we please slow down? It was literally 50 degrees yesterday. Anyways, I have my tray. I'm finally gonna put them together and I'm gonna do it with you guys because obviously. So I like to just compare. This was the first one, right? The prototype guy. And he's like cute and all, but like so fragile. Do you see that? The more I'm looking at it now, the more I'm like, oh, gross. Like this is not right. Uh, the head is it's doing its best you know and if i like i'm scared to do it but i'll do it over my sweatshirt if i go like that his legs just fall off and his head probably oh does too we have that okay that was what we were working with and now we have the new and improved guy <gasps> oh my god so his head will go first first of all look how clean it's not perfect but it looks way better oh my god look how nicely that head fits and then the legs Look how strong that connection is. He's not going anywhere, bro. Oh my God. And his little brain. So I made two brains, right? This one is actually too big for him. <laughs> so I have a littler one. You can put it in. You can like hear his brain rattling inside his head. That's so cute. So yeah, very extremely pleased about him. And then the other one, which is new and improved, not really, because we didn't make one of these before, but I think it came out well. It's the half and half. 
<gasps> ah, so cute. They look so good. Oh my God. I am so happy with how these guys came out. Like, look at him compared to him so much better his face is a little bit cuter though i will say but like everything else he's so good i'm so happy about this so ah, i love them oh my god so yeah that's everything i'm so happy can we just talk about the improvements of oh my god it like barely even sticks together anymore of this one to this one like it just looks so much nicer i love you Alrighty, well ignore the marks on my face but i think these guys just came out so well i think they're so cute and i just i love them i'll insert all the close-ups and stuff in separate clips so you guys can really see i just think they came out so cute and i love the colors i did my best to color match to the original guy and i think i did a pretty good job so hopefully you guys didn't notice too big of like a disparity between the two that's pretty much it for this product i worked so long and hard on this so i'm so glad honestly that it is finally over because it really overstayed its welcome on my desk i think it all came out so cute don't forget to check out Boxu again thank you guys so much for fueling me during this project because it has been quite a long one and like I said you can use my code Tiffany for $20 off your first purchase and I will have that all linked down below for you guys so thank you all so much for watching for hanging out with me let me know what you guys think of my little bodies exhibit down below it's not fully finished but it's pretty much halfway there I guess um so I'll be working on it more in later videos but let me know what you guys think I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!